and do you pronounce it Yak? Yak, like Yach. Bach. Oh, uh, almost like a Hebrew pronunciation. Yeah, yeah it is. It's yeah. a good Jewish name from yeah. Lithuania. Um, uh, Dr. Yak, uh, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Derek Yach. I'm a Senior Vice President on Global Health Policy at PepsiCo. And uh, what, are, what do you see as some of the major um, health issues uh, that are facing the world that your company is looking into? Well, I spent about a decade at the World Health Organization uh, heading a lot of the work on chronic diseases, and it struck me then that we'd been neglecting the dramatic growth of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, nutrition-related cancers, um, and those now constitute by far the largest contributors to death, disease, and dis disability worldwide, with the sole exception of sub-Saharan Africa, where, of course, AIDS, malaria, and many of the undernutrition problems dominate. We'd say that if you look worldwide, the nutrition-related complex of health-related issues must be the largest group that, if addressed, could have a big impact from the one billion with hunger through to the one billion who are overweight and obese. And what are some of the initiatives that your company is taking specifically to try to address some of these issues? We have um, a series of commitments which were first made public um, earlier this year, um, and they relate to starting with our core products. So lowering the level of sodium, lowering the level of sugar and saturated fat across all our core brands globally. And we've set numeric targets for those which are on our website. They require uh, jacking up our R&D to, for example, reduce the sugar levels, or changing agricultural production and, and commodity procurement in the case of sourcing alternatives to palm oil. Um, and on sodium, of course, a large R&D effort. In addition to those, there's been a commitment which has become more public, and that is to grow a portfolio of fruit, vegetable, and whole grains that are closer to the whole product over the next 10 years, and take what is currently about a $10 billion revenue stream of products in that category today to 30 billion over the next 10 years. Of course that's going to require deeper links into agricultural and nutrition science. On the marketing side, um, we've pledged to, by the end of this year, have restricted marketing in all markets worldwide uh, to kids under 12 with products which are high in salt, sugar and fat, and that's an agreement with 10 other major multinationals. And we've agreed that by the end of next year, uh, we should have eliminated the direct sale of full-calorie beverages from all schools worldwide, that's junior and senior schools. Um, that's an initiative we've undertaken with support of the World Heart Federation, and I must say that um, our competitor brand, Coke, has joined us for the, school, the primary school part of that pledge. In addition, there, there are a lot of others related to reducing our portion size, uh, getting much more uh, specific around labeling, recognizing that in most countries, uh, there aren't regulations or legislation around labeling, and we will, will be moving ahead with front of pack labeling, labeling on all our products by the end of 2012. Um, there would be others related to undernutrition we can get back to. Uh, uh, the panel that you are on actually differentiated the issue between undernutrition and undernourishment. Yes. Uh, can you talk about the distinction between those two and, uh, and how uh, the importance of one versus the other? Well, I think we've, we've seen that when it comes to poor people and the needs of the poor and underserved, generally the focus has been on the quantity of food provided as opposed to the quality. And that has meant that you could run into these problems where a focus on staples uh, exacerbates or continues micronutrient deficiency. Clearly micronutrients, uh, vitamin A and iron and many other critical elements, have as much an impact on uh, long-term survival but critically, of course, have big impacts on brain development and intellectual development. And we hope, as a company, that we could introduce a greater focus on both quality while we address the absolute calorie needs of the very poor. At this conference, the issue, the issue of the first thousand days has been brought up many times, and it's really a relatively new issue. <coughs> uh, what is your company doing specifically to address the first thousand days issue? Well, it's still early for us in this field. Currently, um, we have programs in Nigeria um, in collaboration with Valid International, which is an um, Irish-based charity, and UNICEF Nigeria, focused particularly on the acute and chronic malnourished, which tend to be under two, um, and looking at how to improve the delivery of the ready-to-eat products based on uh, uh, peanut and groundnut products. 
We're looking at India specifically at the development of beverages and foods to boost um, iron levels in young girls um, and recognize that in, in India um, the, the first child is born very young to women. Anything we can do to restore and increase the iron stores of young girls would have a big impact both in their own pregnancy, that's in the first third of that thousand days, or in, for the health of the child. The, the other uh, issue that we try to look at um, is through our foundation efforts where we have direct programs in place in Bangladesh and India with Save the Children uh, that are to targeted particularly on the thousand days and are more comprehensive, not just looking at food, but food deworming, the quality of water and sanitation. What uh, issues are in the future, you know, that you haven't started to look at, what are what do you see as the next two or three major issues that uh, your company, from a health point of view, is going to be tackling? I think the biggest question is um, how we diversify the use of a wider range of commodities in our portfolio. Currently, PepsiCo obviously has excellence in oranges, in potatoes, in oats, uh, in corn. Um, if we're going to expand the fruit, vegetable, whole grains, nuts, and even the uh, l low fat milk products, as we've made a commitment to do, we're going to have to deepen our knowledge and interaction with organized agriculture and smallholder farmers around the world. And that's an area that we see uh, increasingly being critical both to our survival but also to, this, to the improvement of nutrition of the people we serve. And also at this conference, one of the big issues that's been talked about is the loss of uh, food during the, uh, uh, during the food uh, chain uh, from production th uh, through, from raising through production, uh, and it's estimated to be about 30 to 40 percent. Uh, is your company doing anything specifically to address this issue? I th there, there are several things they're doing, and we, we, we also heard from ADM and other major food companies how they're addressing it. Um, I think in, in basic terms for potatoes, we've done a lot of work of understanding dormancy, how to, the many um, technological and storage efforts to make sure that you move potatoes rapidly through the supply chain and into the processing uh, capability. So it's not just to go about um, trying to build better storage facilities and make sure that the food doesn't go off, but actually making sure that they move to a processing facility, which raises an interesting question, uh, which wasn't discussed in the meeting, and that is, the reality that a large amount of fruit and vegetable will probably not be consumed in the future in the fully whole state and there'll be have to be some form of minimal processing both to be able to maximize its nutrient value as and preserve some of the concerns of wastage and that is an area where we have a lot of interest for in the future okay very good well listen i want to really thank you very much for sitting down with me and look forward to uh, hearing from your company in the future. You've done some magnificent things. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm half Lithuanian also. <laughs>